Welcome everyone to my channel. In today's video, we will be replacing CV axles, and the reason is because it's making a big vibration and um, also a noise in the vehicle. So we got new CV axles. So. Okay, just to correct myself, it doesn't make noise, but it does give a big vibration because the, the noise we we fixed by replacing the uh, bearing, but now it's vibration that's coming from the CV axles. Yeah, when we start accelerating, uh -huh. uh, we get the vibration. When we get the acceleration off, when I get my foot off the pedal, and it goes away. The, the vibration goes away. Uh -huh. So that's the axles, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and get underneath the vehicle and see. No, okay, you, so you, we're shaking the the, the driver's side. Oh, take and, a from this one. Hey. Oh yeah, it's loose. Right here. Mostly it's, it's yeah, inside. Inside, where the engine is. But this side is uh, loose. It's clicking. Looking, yeah, it's broken. I try, try the other side. Try shaking. Try the other side. Nah, not much. Not, not, not at all. But, it's just. In but the where the wheel? Try with where the wheel is. You try it. There is a uh, slightly. So pretty much, it's the driver's side, huh? That's right really side. bad, yeah. It's really bad. I mean, Look, right here. Something good, something destroyed. Uh -huh. see. Right here. Yep. That's what we it gotta is. see. Something is destroyed. Okay, we're moving the vehicle and look. It's actually going up, down, up, down. Does it? Yep. Yep, that's it. That's bad. That's the one. That is bad. We're gonna be replacing seals. Okay, so we will be replacing the seals and as well as axles. once we remove these axles, we need to order or buy the new seals from both sides so because we will be replacing both uh, CV axles so okay so we will lift the vehicle like the whole front yeah and then put the wood underneath so it will kill us mm -hmm. and we're gonna get started uh, okay go. guys so on the other side as well we disconnected these on on both nuts then you remove this this nut as well. We use this kind of big boy. Yeah, because the more small this one cannot take not it. Do it. Will not do it. So big we, one takes we it. We also use 30 millimeter socket. Show it. It's just 30 millimeter. Uh -huh. Looks like this. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna show you the other side. Let's do the other do side. The other. Okay. Let's Definitely broken inside. Okay, so on the passenger side, we disconnected this and we unbolted and removed the, the sensor, right? ABS sensor, yes, uh -huh. because it will be a tension on it. Uh -huh. And then okay. it's easy actually coming it's off. It's enough to remove the yep. axle. If this turns enough, and it comes off easy. That's it. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Yep. Okay guys, so on, on the driver's side, we were able to remove it without so disconnecting the steering arm. So, pretty much. And very easy 
Yeah, I it's came off the same one. It's easily connected. Sensor disconnect. Always. Yeah, it's going to be ABS because sensor. it's going to be tight. Uh -huh. Otherwise. Okay. Disconnect, put it away. Should be easy to pull them out. Yeah, should be very easy. Okay, so we removed one. It was kind of easy. Just pull it and knock on it and it should come out. Okay, so that's the seal right here for the passenger side. Now let, let's remove the this one right driver here. Driver's side? Yeah, the driver's side. Yep. And um, we're gonna show actually let's on both ends how we're gonna be removing it. It's not that easy as you think. Huh? Okay, so let's start pulling it out. Hard to access it. Let's see if I can, if I will be able to access it. No, it doesn't want to come out. Uh -huh. As you can see, the car is jacked up. I'm going to stick my bar in there and remove. Can you do that on the bar? Okay, so we pulled on it and this is what happened. <laughs> <It> <laughs> now they have still in there. Now they have his inside. So, by taking a look at this, look. The bearings are one The out. bearing is dead. Oh, look at that. completely. See the bearing? It's dead. Dry, rusty. Yep. Bearing dead. And this was almost about to go. Yeah, they're all dry. Yeah. You see what's happening? Very they're bad. all dry and rusty. <laughs> One came out Without completely. grease. Wow. Where's the grease though? I'm not sure where the grease is. Is it broken? Uh, oh yeah. Look, there is a, a broken crack. You see right here? That's where the grease escaped. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, so we will remove the seal with this puller. Not as easy as you think. Let me see, let me see. Is it going or it's not even moving? I don't know. Let me see. There is not enough space though to work with. Oh, See, so started moving. Uh -huh. Let me keep feeling it. Keep going. There we go. Yep. Transmission starts leaking. Just a little bit. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Just take a picture of it. Huh? Or something. Oh, or, no, or put, put, a, put a rug, rug inside there. Just put a bucket underneath to stop the leak. It's okay. We're just gonna put a rug. Hold on. Let me go find the seal. Okay, so this is the seal. So there is a metal thing that goes around it. Mm -hmm. We want to uh, replace the seals because they may be worn out. So they will uh, start leaking. Yeah, yeah, over time they may start you leaking. Know, you're replacing these like uh, uh, axles you to get together with the seals. With I'm sure it's a little Finally, we got this thing out, but this pull is small. So we used it on this angle, on that side. We hammered it down, and it came off. Came out. See the finally. bearing inside? Oh yeah, the bearing, like the pieces. Pieces of the left of bearing, yep. Now we're gonna pull the uh, seal as well, on that side. Wow, amazing. Okay, so uh, we installed already the seals, 
from both sides and they are different so make sure you get the right part number so here is the part number for our vehicle There we go. Can they see it? Yeah. Okay. So uh, other seals did not fit. So it depends where you buy them and make sure you don't buy it from O'Reilly. No, it really depends on on the vehicle which no, vehicle no, you have. O'Reilly do not have the right seal. No, it, it really depends where your vehicle was uh, manufactured because some are made in USA and some are made in Japan so ours was made in Japan that's why we have this uh, different part number on this one no this is the garbage I mean this is what we need and we already installed it mm -hmm. there is a from Napa show the box so this is we ordered it from Napa store because it was quicker that way that's the part number that's the part number right yeah that's the part number so Napa. yeah made in Taiwan mm -hmm. that's the driver's side so now we already installed the did you knock it? yeah in? Oh, it's already in so yep. what kind of hammer you choose this one? just, just knock, knock it slowly go on in G gently right? gently right you do try, everything gently try to turn it as well okay and and the, the passenger side you also knocked in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the passenger but there is from the Morale and uh -huh. it, fit, it fits just perfect. Okay. But uh, to the driver's so. side, they don't have the right one. And so yeah, make make sure you get the right one. And yeah. uh, what's the part number for the passenger side? Yeah, do you have it? Uh, no, I love the box in there. Sorry. Okay, so this is the old one that we use. I mean. Yeah, that was installed on the passenger side, but there it is no point number on it. Number on it, hold on, let me see. If I can get that number. There is no, oh, there is number, hold on. There is a number, small see? letters. And numbers. Okay, here's the part number though. Can you see? I'm trying to focus. Yeah, it's a BH207. A G something like that, right? Let me see. A G, yeah, yep. Okay, so when installing the seal, we had to remove the shock, um, absorber, shock absorber because, because it was in a way we could not. Uh, so we used put this, this kind of seal setup in to push the seal. Show me, show me. What, what kind of uh, size? What, uh, it was what size? Uh, 42 millimeter socket. And uh -huh. uh, the first one I used a uh, five, one inch and five eighths. For for the other side. No, for this one. Oh, for, for the other side, side, the same. Yeah, I used this one. Mm -hmm. For the other side. How many? One inch and five eighths. Okay. So I just slowly tap it. Tap it. Mm -hmm. Did the, you lubricate the seals before yes, installing yes, them? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You always lubricate this side. Which side? This side. I mean, this is bad seal. This. Uh -huh. I mean, this is not as good. But this is uh, our original. You lubricate this side. You also lubricate inside where it uh -huh. sits, uh -huh. and you just slowly go in there, work yourself in. You uh -huh. to make sure it's flush. You just put it in inside, so yeah, people yeah. could see. Like so, see. Uh -huh. It's just gonna go there. Just carefully. Carefully. Make sure yes. it goes in Ta evenly. Yeah, make sure it's straight up. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just tap, tap it on it, just like that, and it's gonna go there slowly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just like that. So now let's go ahead and put everything back in. Yeah. Put everything back together. Oh, actually, I'm okay, going to install so the uh, shock first. Uh -huh. We'll be installing the shock absorber. We'll do the shock first. And then everything else. You ready? Mm -hmm. Help me out. Where is the short ones and the long one? I'm not sure. Just need to bend this like a lock.
Okay guys, so I opened this one. This is the passenger one and look the liquid is uh, Actually it came out And I think it's in fair condition though. It's kind of loose But it's still good I think so guys, we put everything back. Alex, you need to lock this one as well. Okay, uh -huh. So guys, if this video was helpful, like the video and also subscribe to my channel.